Everybody reporting live. Look at the cheetah. Hey. Look at the bitch that fuck niggas off Zans right here. We going live. How you doing? Don't you fuck people's mans? You fuck people's right hand mans, right? Mm. Yo, don't you fuck niggas right hand mans? Man, this sounds so homo. You fush my mans? You fush my mans? I mean, I, I can't stand when New Yorkers be saying that. Oh, you, you smash my mans? Come on, man. Hello everybody reporting live, look at the cheetah. Look at the bitch that fuck niggas off Zans right here. We going live. How you doing? Don't you fuck people's mans? You fuck people's right hand mans, right? Yo, don't you fuck niggas right hand mans? Hey yo, shorty. Didn't you cheat on me when I was in jail? For my mans? Hey yo, shorty, we live. Look, I have all these kids with her. Look at all these kids, bro. Pregnant right now. Yo, did you cheat? Come on. Look at the camera. Own it. Didn't you cheat? You fucked the next nigga, right? Daddy, hmm? daddy, daddy, daddy. You ain't fucked the next nigga? Daddy, daddy, daddy. Yo. Yo, don't let, yo, dude, yo, live? Yo. Yo, we on live. Yo, look at this cheater, bro. Look who cheated on me. Look who fucked my mans. Yo, look at everybody. Look, she's fucked my mans. Obviously, dude's upset and dude's hurt. And he's very overly emotional over the situation. But, you know, that's his baby mom's. I don't know the whole situation or what led to the breakup or what had her open her legs to if my mans. I can't even say the word right because a cop because, of you know monetarization i'm trying not to curse here but at the same time man you got to look at it like this your ass has been in jail okay you've been in jail for how long we don't even know and at the same time okay your baby mamas was getting it in and majority of the time yeah they're gonna get it in usually to a person who's close to you okay listen i'm gonna tell you this right now man those y'all gotta know how the game goes man Whenever you got a homie that's a best friend, or you cool with your homie, okay, and you got a lady, and let's just say you go to jail, you get locked up, guess what? This biatch got three kids. How is she supposed to survive with three kids on her own? The first thing that's going to kick into a woman's instinct is survival. So survival is finding a man that could financially take care of her. one of her mans or your mans, as you could say, oh, you smashed my mans. One of your mans was taking care of this chick financially and holding her down, even though she was giving up the kitty cat. She looked like a hoe anyways, man. But listen, you choose the woman that you, you, you lay yourself up with, man. I'm sure that you knew this woman was a hoe from the beginning. So you knew that uh, there was eventually there was gonna be some whole shit. See, that's why I don't understand. With sometimes with these emotional ass dudes, right? They get too too invested into hoes, and a lot of them knew exactly what the what the women is to begin with in the first place. Okay, she smashed your man's. All right, she a hoe. Now, what do you do about it? You got kids by this woman. There's a big difference. Because you already established the seeds in a family. You got three kids and she has one on the way. So I guess she's pregnant from your best friend or your friend or your homie. When you do dirt, you go to jail, you live that type of lifestyle. You live that type of, oh, I'm getting money, I'm a hustler. Listen, the woman was with you for the money. You wasn't providing the bands, obviously, at the time. Or maybe you was providing her bands while you were in jail. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you this right now. When these women don't open their legs, okay? When they don't open their legs and their man is in jail, it's not because they're strong or they're in love with the man. Nah, it's because he's still financially supporting her. And that's just being real. A woman 
ain't gonna leave a man or ain't gonna cheat or sleep around with other dudes if she's being financially taken care of. We just gotta keep it 100. If a man's in jail and her man is still have the funds to provide her financially, she ain't going nowhere. But as soon as the funds ain't there, she's going to the next dick. Okay? And that's just the truth. So you can't really get but her because you knew exactly what type of female you were dealing with in the first place. You know she was a hoe. My mans. Everybody, come on. Let's make this, come on, share this shit. Share this shit up. Share this shit up. Niggas be taking care of kids, all types of shit. But yeah, bitches want to fuck your mans while you in jail, right? Why are you in jail? They want to fuck your mans while you in jail. You pay all their bills. You do everything for them, right? Yo, smile at the camera. Say hi. Own your shit. Own your shit, G. Own your shit. Yo, own your shit. Come on, man. I got no time for no shorty that's gonna fuck your mans. Come on, shorty. You fuck my mans, right? You fuck my mans. Hey, yo, shorty fucked my mans, bro, while I was in jail. All right, but check this out, though. Number one is what caused you to go to jail in the first place, knowing that the fact that you got three kids, you know, and then there's one on the way, so that's going to be a fourth kid. And I don't even know if that's your kid. Well, obviously, I don't know how long you've been in the jail. So, I mean, who knows? I don't even know the situation. It may not even be, most likely, it may not even be his kid. Because, you know, she smashed his mans. <laughs> but at the same time, man, it, it, it's, man... Listen, this is looking all bad right now in so many different angles. I mean, most likely he was part of some, you know, I want to say gang, but I, I would probably say like he probably a hustler. He got himself caught up in some ish and he's in jail. I mean, this this happens all the time. It's a, it's a never ending scenario. Listen, man, at the end of the day, I've always said it that women got to survive, too. And. If your man's and she was smashing your man, it's most likely it's because he was probably taking care of her. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just a woman's instincts to do so. But, I mean, it's just a sad situation that this had to occur right in front of the kids. You know what I mean? Because, listen, if you got kids with a woman, I understand the hurt, the pain and all that that you're going through. Like, it's, it's kind of effed up. That you expect your woman to be loyal. But listen, the way I would think about it is this. If I go to jail and I'm locked up for a minute, just like with my shorty right here, I would not expect for her to be faithful to me. Knowing that the fact, shit, I don't even expect no biatch to be faithful to me, period. Even if I'm in jail or out of jail, man. It's just those things that just happen, man. You know, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. <laughs> That's just the way it is. You always got to expect ish to go down, regardless. But at the end of the day, I mean, it is what it is. If you was taking care of your ish, then, you know, she wouldn't have to go to other Negroes to provide her, you know, <laughs> with extra supply of ding dong. Or, you know, most likely I think it has to do with money, too. Because nine times out of ten, if you got a homie, you friends with a homie, and the chick gets pregnant, and then the, the, let's just say the homie goes to jail, nine times out of ten... She's going after the friend for mutual, financial, emotional support because whatever she sees in her man, she's going to see within the friend. Because is because you ever see like when homies hang out with each other, they got a lot in common. When you hang out with your friend or your homie, it's because y'all have a lot in common with each other. So the baby moms or your lady is going to see that you got this bond with each other. So in a way, she's actually sizing you guys up together and in her mind she's contemplating to see who's who's the better man but obviously she's gonna ride for whatever situation she's in right now that's benefiting for her but as soon as this dude goes to jail guess what the same dude her, her his, his best friend does the same thing like this dude does maybe he got a good job or something like that and you know she's looking at it like this and he has good qualities just like because, you know, friends, when they hang out with each other, when you hang out with your homies because you, you see you see yourself in that person. When you got a best friend or a good homie, it's because you see yourself in that person. And guess what? Your ladies go see you in that person. So guess what? She's also going to see a companion, emotional support, financial support, whatever it is. So chances are she's going to smash the homie. You know? It is what it is, man. 
Shit's crazy. Uh -huh. Come on, eh. Look at all my kids I got with her. Look at all the kids I got with her. She gonna fuck my mans while I'm in jail? Say hi to live. Yo, say hi to live, G. Say hi to live. Come on, share this shit up. Hey, yo, share this shit up, bro. Share this shit up. You see how many kids I got with her? Paying her bills, paying her, making sure she's fresh all the time. Yo, say hi to live. She looking fresh. Dude, she don't look fresh. She look like she coked the F out, man. She look like she stressed, like she don't got, she don't get much sleep. But you got to understand, my dude. She got three babies, my dude. Three kids, and she got one on the way. <laughs> Good God. She got three kids, my dude. Three kids already. So, in a way, it's like... <laughs> I don't understand how you say you take care of her. You take care of like her, her bills and all that while you was locked up. I guess I'm assuming, or you maybe you did it before. But how the hell y'all got curtains on the on the on the on the, on the window shield? You know, yeah. I mean, y'all got y'all got blankets. Y'all got towel. I mean, y'all got y'all got bathrobes for blankets, man. That y'all ain't living too good. I mean, if that's the case, li listen, man. How you have your baby moms? An apartment where y'all don't even have y'all y'all using bathrobes as um you know those window sheds you know whatever you call it that that's just crazy to me man I mean you balling like that man she shouldn't be living like that so I I don't think he I think he kind of I think he capping on that man. Cause I mean, if that's the case, your baby mama wouldn't be living like that. That's why I be trying to tell y'all goonies out there, man. Y'all be having rival. Y'all be having the ops out there. Y'all can't really stand. Y'all got problems with. But you're still, you know, y'all in this game and y'all, you letting your baby moms live. You know, they living like shit. You ain't taking care of them. Guess what? The next niggas gonna do that. That's just how it is. I mean, that, that's just how it is. If you ain't taking care of your business, the next man is going to do so. It's always been that way. So you can't really get mad at her for really effing your mans. Because maybe maybe he was taking care of her. He was taking care of her while, 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 you know what I'm saying? You was in prison. I mean, these things do happen. But how the hell you have the blind curtains? How the hell you have bathrobes as blind curtains, man, for crying out loud, man? Come on. You got your baby mama using bath robes as blind curtains? Yeah. Say how do you lie? Fucking a second. Yo, fucked and sucked, huh? Is it just me or does this chick kind of resembles Eva Mendez? <laughs> I mean, just a little bit, man. Just look at this chick. You know what I mean? Just the nose a little bit. You know, facial features. Just, just, just. You know, just a tap bit. Huh? You fucked this up, then, right? You fuck? Yo, you fucked this? Yo, 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 bro. I, I know. Yo, you fucked my man's, right? You fucked my man's while I was in jail. Hey, yo, don't ever trust a bitch again. I gave this bitch everything she ever had, bro. Gave this bitch everything she ever had. You know why niggas don't stress bitches? You know why niggas don't stress bitches? Sorry, baby. You know why niggas don't stress bitches? Cause niggas get money. Okay, now you talking. Now you talking. Because <laughs> Negroes get money. But listen, man. I've been saying it for the longest time. When you chase that bag, the women will come to you. It's just, it's just, it's just laws and physics. I said it before many times in my videos, man. There's two things women chase after. Looks and money. It's always been like that. It's never going to end like that. That's why sometimes you see the most scruffiest Maybe ugliest dudes in the world you've seen with the baddest women. Oh, how comes they got that female? How comes they got that woman? It was because he got that bag. <laughs> Obviously, it's that money. But uh, uh, he put out some racks, though. He put out some stacks on her ass. You know? Now she feeling kind of dumb. I guarantee you right now. I, I listen, man. It's kind of hard making video reactions to stuff like this when it's involving kids in the background and stuff like that. Cause this is what I really feel sorry for is the kids, man. She probably thought this this Negro wasn't gonna get out of jail. She probably thought that he wasn't gonna amount to none, whatever. And she had to do what she had to do and move on. But I mean, hey, maybe she knew he was about to get out of jail, but she just did what she did anyways. 
What I want to know is how the hell did he find out? But then again, here's the thing. The streets don't lie. The streets don't talk. And I got to admit it, man. He is taking it quite well. I mean, he is embarrassing her. In a way, you know, some women will probably come on here, you know, especially my women fans. And, they, you know, they have a right to say, oh, well, he doesn't have to do all that and try to embarrass the baby moms. You know, her face is out there. I mean, listen, dudes right now, okay, it ain't back in the days where dudes will put their hands on a biatch or slap them around a few times. Negroes is embarrassing women now. They're embarrassing them because, see, they know that clout means everything to a female, to a biatch. It's validation. But once you humiliate a chick and her face is stamped as being like probably the worst baby moms in the world, she probably ain't gonna get nothing for Mother's Day. Okay? Her face is out there already. She looked like Eva Mendez. You know what I mean? Eva Mendez, you need to go ahead and get a makeup because you don't want to look like a bad baby mama. I'm just playing. But listen, man. And all jokes aside, we really got to take this in, in consideration, man, especially women, man. Y'all got to take this in consideration that dudes, like, I, I know people will probably anticipate, like, oh, shoot, this dude about to put hands on this chick. This dude is about to smack the ish out of her. Nah, that's back in them Ike Turner days. Negroes don't do that no more. What they do, guys now, you know what men are doing right now? They're embarrassing the females. Because they know that women strive for attention when it comes down to this social media itch. So what better way to get back at an itch, I can't curse, but a biatch, is to humiliate them. You know? I know he's looking at it like that, ah, well, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm going to take care of my kids. He got the bread. He could take care of his kids. Obviously, he's just so, look at them racks. They got to be at least like 15,000, 20,000 in there. She probably like, oh, damn, I effed up. All right, daddy. You got me, daddy. Damn, daddy. I effed up. I messed up. Listen. Dudes like him ain't going to be stressing because he got money. But I know that he's hurt. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard pill to swallow knowing that the fact that you're in a bind and you got children from this female. I mean... At this point now, if he continues to stay with this chick, he's going to look pretty bad. But then again, you know, some people will understand that he's got to be there for the kids. But in a way, is he simping out by still being with the chick? I don't think so. In this circumstances like this, when you got children involved, it's kind of hard to separate yourself from a female that has that is the mother to your kids. That is the seed to your kids, you know? Because it's like, you're going to look like a bad father if you're not there. What I would do, what I would do solely is take care of my kids. You got the bread, you got the funds, take your kids. Go If you got to go to court and try to get your kids away from it, take your kids. Raise your kids by yourself, man. Fellas, let her be alone. Let her be the trash bag female that she needs to be alone with. This is how you get women back when they cheat on you. Embarrass them. So that way they'll know not to do it again. Because one thing I've learned though. With this whole validation ish. And with social media. And, and, and having Negroes sweating them and stuff like that. Giving them d I can't even curse right now. But you know the word. When it comes down to that. Females will do anything for validation and attention. Maybe at the time when the bands was a hustler just like you. You know that. On the streets. And he was provided for her. You couldn't provide for her. You was in jail. You know. It's a sad situation, man. I hope the chick ain't coked out. Because she look a little bugged out, man. She looks spazzing. Chick look like she on some meth or something, man. Or, and I know. That's just the way she look. I'm not saying she's on that now. But when you got three kids, man. That's, that's tough, man. Especially if you got no support. I don't know if she got any government support or anything like that. I'm not sure, but, you know, I'm pretty sure. But how she going to get the baby daddy on child support when his ass is in jail? You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's a sad situation, but, you know, here and there, it is what it is. His niggas get money. His niggas get money. We don't need no bitch, right? Right? You threw your family away, right? Look at this bitch. She cheated on me. Look at her. Look at her. Fucking bitch. You get out the Zans. Get drunk and then calling niggas just to fuck them? I, I knew it. 
I knew it. I called it. See, man, I knew this chick was on some drugs. I didn't even know the whole situation, man. Just, just looking at her. She looked like she was coked the F out, but she was on Xanax. Man, this is just sad, bro. Listen, man. I'm going to say it like this. Yeah, you got to humiliate someone to, to a certain degree, but at the same time, when you got kids involved, man, it's just a little bit different. You got to show a little bit sympathy just for the kids because at the end of the day, I know you pissed off and you mad and what she's doing is definitely on some hoe-ish, but at the same time, who's more affected more in this process, you or your children? Just think about it. You got to try to get your kid or your, your children out of this environment. The three kids that you got right now. Now, the, the fourth one on the way, if that belongs to your mans or your, you know, your whatever, the side piece or whatever, F the bit, biatch. You know what I'm saying? F her. I would just listen. I'll take, I'll try to get my kids into custody. Since I got the money like that, I'm taking care of my ones. I'm taking care of my seeds. F that biatch. Let her, let her be a hoe. Let her be a street rat. Because at the end of the day, man, there's nothing that's going to hurt a woman more is the fact that she's not around her kids. When she's out there and she's alone and she's trying to find that network of security, that's one thing I talk, talk, tell y'all. Women only look for, within men, money or looks. Now, looks is just a fantasy role that make their coochie go woo woo. Money can do that too. Okay. But money is more of a network of security for a biatch. So at the end of the day. She ain't even looking at you like I'm going to ride with you. I'm going to be with you type thing. Because I, I internally love you. But she loves what you're doing for her. And you got a lot of these chicks in these situations like this. Especially in the slums and the hoods. That are with these dudes only for a network of security. But they can't really help it. Especially if you got three kids by the neck. You should have never thought. See this is why I tell people man. Y'all got to practice safe sex man. If y'all put. If you pull out game ain't right man. Put on that Jimmy. Because then you don't have to go through these turmoils. He's got the bands. He's got the money. He can show it off in court. Like, listen, I got enough money to take care of my kids. She's an unfit mother. Mother. Well, it's a good thing that he maybe he's he's recording her because maybe he's going to take her to court just in case. All this is, is all recorded. So in a way, that's a good thing. But in a way, I, you know, I know people going to have a heart and they're going to be like, oh, man, she just needs some help. She need to get help. She probably do. You know, she does need to get help. I mean, the fact that you really got to take in consideration, man, I know that you're mad and you hurt. I mean, anybody would be hurt, but it's not going to change the fact that this is the mother of your children. You got to get her some help, man. Get her some help. Do the godly things, man. Do the godly things. Yes, she deceived you. Yes, she did a Judas effect, but you've got to be the one to be more mature, to come out as the hero. Okay, you embarrassed on the camera, cool. You, that's how you vent, that's cool. Hey, it's, hey, I think it, I think it's a whole lot better than him hitting, hitting the biatch. Because he could have done that. He could have smacked the hell out of her and all that type of stuff if he really, if he was really on that mode. But these days, Negroes just got out of jail and he ain't trying to go back. Okay, it's not worth it. You can't Ike turn a biatch these days. You can't. You know, you can't be on some caveman style where you just want to get a you just want to get a club and just knock a bitch over the head. You can't do that no more. Unfortunately, we can't. Just like you can't slap the shit out of your kids if they do something wrong. You got to embarrass them. That's why I see sometimes why parents do the stuff the stuff that they do. Even though some of them kind of overdo it in a way. But I can understand it because social media is a drug to a lot of people and it's very detrimental to especially women's health. Definitely to women's health. It's a drug to women just like, you know, other things else. But listen, we don't know what type of background she comes from. We don't know what she's been through. We don't know what, what type of lifestyle. We don't know if she's been in an abusive relationship. We don't even know if this dude was abusive to her before in the past. We don't know. Maybe he's just playing the funk because people play the funk all the time. We don't know. Nobody knows anything about these two personally. But all we do know is what we see right now. And what we see right now is a dysfunctional family. Bro, if you got all those racks, you should have been, man, why didn't you send her some money? 
I don't get this. You you showing off the unless you just got to the bag right now. But you got all those racks. You should have set up some money. Maybe if you would have gave us some money, she probably wouldn't be out there sucking and, and, and messing with your man's. That I guarantee you, the man's, her man's, your man's was taking care of her. Guarantee you, he was taking care of her. But you got the bag now. I know she feel kind of dumb because she wasn't expecting that. Now she's like, damn, I could really use that money to take care of some stuff. She feel dumb right now. I already know she feels stupid. She don't want to hear that stuff. He's hurt right now. This is his way of taking out his anger. And why you can't blame the man. You really, you you really can't blame him, man. But at the same time, Negro, you was in jail. So what do you expect? You gotta expect those type of things, those type of shortcomings. You know, she probably did it for the money. That's it. It probably wasn't for love. It's probably for money. But you know, it is what it is, though. But um, wow. Look at this bitch. Look at Amanda Kylie. Miss Spiritual Amanda Kylie, the one that knows the fortune telling, the one that does all that shit. Look at Amanda Kylie. She fucked my right hand man's. Yup. Yo, 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 yo. Throw this shit. Yeah, share this shit. Share all this shit up. Look at this hoe. Look, I gave her all these kids just for her to cheat. Yo, look at the camera. You ain't cheat on me? You ain't cheat on me while I was in jail? Yo, you ain't cheat on me while I was in jail, right? Look at Why you hitting the camera now? Why you hitting the camera now? Why you hitting the camera now? Look at this cheating ass bitch.